Hello everyone, I'm Jim Lewis and I'm the founder of Model Train Technology. Thanks for checking in with us today. Uh, today we're going to talk about the signaling startup kit and uh, it's going to be a short video just talking about what's in the box. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, we started uh, with our detection system. Uh, that came out about three months ago, a precision detector that didn't use typical infrared uh, sensing, which meant that it's impervious mostly to ambient lighting conditions. It works great. People have told us uh, they're using it, replacing all their infrared sensors and putting ours in because it just works. It's very precise, uh, one millimeter uh, precision, and uh, it just it doesn't care about the uh, lighting conditions. Very dark, very bright, what have you. Uh, last month, or actually at the end of May, we uh, came out with another video and another product, actually, a uh, video about the product. And that is the signal controller. We have a, both a fiber optic signal controller and an LED signal controller. And it's for gauges N through O. So N, H, O, S gauge, and O gauge. Uh, and so uh, that's available and we have a power module. We have the demonstration video. Uh, if you look down below here, either in YouTube or if you're looking on our video page, uh, we have a number of those videos shown below. Take, check them out for more details. Uh, we have a demonstration of layout and, and so you can see how that works. Today we're just going to be talking about what's in the box. Here's the box and we're going to open it up and show you what's in and how to get started. Very simple and if you want additional information of course visit our website and uh, or you can email me uh, at jim at modeltraintechnology.com or call us the number is 407-242-5436. All right, so let's get started. Let's look at what's in the box and how you can get started with some very simple, very powerful signaling for your model layout. So here you have the Model Train Technology Signaling Startup Kit. Uh, depending on how many extra components you buy, you'll come in a box this size or maybe a little smaller. And uh, in the kit, there are two major components. There are uh, the detector, and you'll get one detector, either HO size or N scale, and we'll show you those in a second. And you'll get one of the, either the LED or the fiber optic controller. They're identically in size. They're powered the same way. Uh, the software and how it works with the configuring is, is almost the same. And uh, so uh, very simple uh, color manual with lots of pictures and diagrams and things to follow along. So we try to make it super simple. Lots of good feedback on the manual and we update this uh, constantly uh, based, based on uh, feedback. Uh, also, uh, depending on uh, conversations we'll have our customers or notes, we'll also include a blown up version of the how to wire it up and we have a few more of those we'll show you in a second. So we really try to make it very easy. Okay, so the components of the detector, uh, the signaling kit, first of all, there's the precision detector. Uh, we'll take that out and uh, comes with the cords already attached to it. Uh, this is the N scale version with the uh, caps. There are two power wires, uh, they're both orange and red, pardon me, and then there's one signaling wire. So it's really simple and it's about uh, two and a half feet, almost three, I guess three feet long, and that's plenty enough to get started. Uh, so you don't have to connect anything, no soldering, uh, really simple. Uh, you'll get a signal, that's an option that you can add to the kit. Uh, there's, here's our N scale fiber optic uh, signal, and this will just, these pins will just plug right into the signal controller. Here's the signal controller that comes with it. And uh, let's take that out, actually, and show you uh, one or the other of these comes with the box. So here's the fiber optic signal controller, and here is the LED version of the same. So you can see how that works. So in the case of the fiber, there's three holes in the manifold here. And these three pins are designed to plug right into that. You run the run this block uh, through a hole in your layout and then just plug in the controller. There is a length of wire and a connector. This goes to the power module. <coughs> Excuse me. There is a power supply, okay? So we provide you the power supply. You don't have to worry about what voltage it is. It works perfectly with our power module. <coughs> And there's the power module. Power in here, just plug that right in. <coughs> there you go. And on off switch, 
and then a set of terminals here. These are very easy to uh, connect. We provide you the screwdriver even to, uh, uh, you know, in case you don't have one that size. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm always looking for the right size. In the bundle uh, this, that we have going on now, you get a bracket and all of our products have a magnetic bracket. So you can uh, put this underneath your layout on the side and easy removal, but firm enough it's gonna stay in place. So that comes with the kit. And so you have your block signal and your detector, and uh, that's all you need to get started, okay? Now, for the, uh, the signal controllers, here are the two signal controllers, they also have magnetic brackets, and in the bundle kit, the startup kit, we include a magnetic bracket for starter kits, okay? So there's one, and there's one, and they just fasten just like that, and you can put that under the layout, and it'll stick there, and it's pretty firm, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so here's the manual. Uh, again, let me just flip to some pictures that'll show you some wiring diagrams inside exactly how to connect up the power module, the signal controller, and the sensor. Uh, and there's different uh, functions for latching, so it shows you how to do that. And the other thing people have asked us about is, uh, can I run my flasher? So here's a flasher I bought from, uh, I think this is from Amazon for maybe $10. Uh, this is an O scale size. And uh, you'll notice that there are three wires coming out of the back. I cut off the resistor. Our signal controllers have resistors built in. You don't need it. If you keep it attached and, and plug it in, that's perfectly fine, no problem. Now, one of the things about this is that the, uh, the wire here, the common wire is black. On all of the signals that look like this that you buy that are made in China, the black wire is common positive and the two red wires are negative. Now that just, why, how that happened and why that became the case, I don't know. On our signal controller, it has both the ability to switch polarities. So if you start out and the light doesn't work, you plug, connect this to common and these two to the, the flasher lines here and it doesn't light, you can change the polarity, reverse the polarity of the signal controller to light this system. So it'll light, the signal controller will light any flasher unit that you can buy in the marketplace. Likewise, it will also power any signal that you uh, buy. So any of the LED type signals, our signal controller can power that. Now, most of these are three volt LEDs, okay? So this is a five volt supply. Uh, eight, the transformer happens to be 18 volt, but we have a regular area here, five volt supply, and five volts goes to the signal controller and the sensor, and four and a half volts comes out to light the LEDs. It's adjusted so with the resistors and so forth, it's the right current, right voltage to run them all. However, some of the bigger scales, uh, particularly S and O scale, have 12 volt LEDs built into them. So there is a version of the power module I should turn that around, power module that is 12 volts, so 18 in, 12 volts out. And the tw when you connect 12 volts to the signal controller, it by default puts out 11 volts automatically. Now, you might wanna have a mixed system where you have some items, some uh, lights that are 12 volt and some that are five. The way to accomplish that is use the 12 volt power module 12 volt will go into any of the signal controllers, but each signal controller has two power modes. It has a downshift, if you will. If you don't do anything, 12 volts will come out 11 volts, so it consumes one volt essentially inside. But if you want 12 volts to come in and five, only five volts to come out, you can configure the signal controllers just for the push of the button and it'll configure it uh, accordingly. So this controller could be running on um, let's say it's, this is a, the uh, fiber, but let's say that it's this LED type. It could be running on 12 volts in and 11 volts out. This could be running on 12 volts in and five volts out. So uh, a lot of flexibility. It'll handle almost anything. And like I said, for the sensor, you just connect up the two red power lines to the power module and the signal wire goes to one port here, which is the signal in. And that's all you have to do. There's instructions on how to wire that up, like I said in the pictures. And by the way, I, I mentioned that um, the fiber controller comes 
the fiber signal comes with pins and we'll give you a few extra pins and these I have these out separately and literally just slide the fiber optic in there put the pin in and you're done it's really great uh, we've become very enamored with the fiber controller and if you look further on our uh, video page you'll see that we just announced the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad type of uh, signal. Uh, it's LED now and it'll come out in fiber soon enough. So anyway, back on the package and the starter kit. Uh, starter kit will typically look like this. It will have a sensor. It will have, at your option, you can use your own signals or you can buy ours, a signal controller, power module, and power supply. So that's all you need to do to get up and running with a very uh, simple but elegant solution for adding signaling to your model railroad. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.